Welcome to video number 80. This is a personal milestone for me, so I'm pretty proud of that. But this video is going to focus on setting up Google Cloud Print. Now, it's Google's way of allowing you to print from your iOS device, your Android phone, or your Chrome OS notebook. Google Cloud Print is, as of the filming of this video, is a beta product, so it's not fully fleshed out yet. So just keep that in mind. But if you want to print from a Chrome OS notebook, like I'm going to show you how to do in this video, you're going to need Google Cloud Print. Now, to set up Google Cloud Print, you can't actually print directly from a Chrome OS notebook onto a printer. You need an intermediary. In this case, it's a Windows PC. Now, currently, you can only use a Windows PC as that intermediary they're going to be adding Mac and Linux support shortly but currently the only way you can do it is through a Windows PC whether it be a Windows XP a Windows Vista or a Windows 7 PC in my case here I'm using my trusty PC build I did a series of videos on this PC and if you're interested in seeing me build it then check them out but I'm gonna show you how to set up Google Cloud Print on your Windows PC now what you're gonna need for this is a Chrome browser, you're going to need a PC, and you're going to need a printer. Now that printer can be actually physically connected to your PC with a wired connection, or it can be connected with a wireless connection. Either or will work, as long as that printer is on your wireless network and your computer, your PC is as well. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to we're going to do a Google search and we're going to do a search for cloud print. Okay, now it says connect a printer to Google cloud print. I'm going to click on that. Now the first thing it wants you to do is download Google Chrome. Now I already have Google Chrome on this machine, but it's not the beta version that is necessary in order to do this. So I'm going to download Google Chrome right now and it says set Google Chrome as my default browser. It already is even though I'm in Firefox right now but I'm just making it easier because I have to download this new version and install it so I don't want, have, want to have uh, Google Chrome running. Uh, the next uh, little checkbox here it says help make Google Chrome better by automatically sending usage statistics and crash reports to Google. Why not? I'm going to do that and accept and install and it's downloading Google Chrome and it should install it and launch Chrome. It says thanks for trying Google Chrome. The Google Chrome installer should complete in seconds and start your new browser automatically. It's installing Google Chrome and launches Google Chrome. There we go. Okay the next thing that you need to do is sign into your Gmail account your Google account. And you're going to need one of those in order to use Google Cloud Print. If you don't have one, then you're going to need to sign up for it. But I assume if you have a Chrome OS notebook, you already have a Google account. So I've already signed into my Google account and I looked up Google Cloud Print on Google and that's a lot of Googles. And I brought up this page here, Google Cloud Print Beta. Now this is basic instructions on how to set it up. It says connect your local printers with Google Cloud Print and it allows you to print a test page over here. So it takes you step by step through this. What you need to do is step number one on a Windows PC which I'm on right now uh, which is connected to your printer. Click on the wrench icon in the upper right hand corner that's right up here. It basically takes you through the step by step here and it gives good directions here so I'm going to run through this because I've already done it on this browser here so I'm just going to show it to you this way. Uh, the next step is choose options. The third step is click the under the hood tab, scroll to the bottom of the Google Cloud Print section and click sign in to Google Cloud Print. That would be right here under the under the hood tab right here. Number four it says in the dialog that appears sign in to your Google account to enable Google Cloud Print. Now you do have to sign in a second time uh, in order to do this. This is basically syncing up uh, your computer, your browser to Google Cloud Print. And then it says when you have signed in you will see this confirmation page which is a little check mark success. 
and that pretty much does it. You should see this here where it says it allows you to disable it or manage your print settings once everything is synced up and ready to go. So that is how you set up Google Cloud Print on your Chrome browser. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to print a test page here. Now in order to do that um, you have to have your printer all set up and ready to go. I have a camera up at the printer upstairs and it's ready to go when I print from here. So the first thing I want to do is click on this which says print a test page and it brings up my printers. My Kodak printer is listed twice here because I have a wired version and a wireless version. I can hook up a computer wired or wireless up there, so that's why I have it listed twice here. Uh, this one is the wired version. The top one is the wireless version. So you click on that and click print. Now we'll check upstairs and see how everything's going up there. All right, we ended up with four copies of this because it was extremely slow um, once I hit the print button, but here it is. Welcome to Google Cloud Print. The future looks great on paper. Congratulations, you have successfully connected your printer to Google Cloud Print. Now you can print from anywhere, access your printers from any smartphone or computer, manage your printer, review your print jobs and printer status online, and share access, share and control access to your printers with any Google account. Now, what we're actually going to do right now is we are going to print from a Google Chrome OS notebook, the CR48. So let me go grab that and we'll print something from there. Okay, what you see here is my Google Chrome OS notebook, the CR48. Behind it is the Kodak printer that I have, and on top of that Kodak printer is my laptop computer. Now the reason for this is, is that I was finding difficulty printing through Google Cloud Print through the Windows computer when it was hooked up to the printer wirelessly. I was encountering upwards from an hour for the print time. And that's not actually meaning that it takes an hour to print. It took an hour to initiate the printing. The printing actually was very quick. But it took upwards from an hour uh, for it to print. So I found that kind of unacceptable and cumbersome. So what I'm trying here is I'm trying a wired connection. I have my laptop wired directly into my Kodak printer and I'm gonna try this again. So let's zoom in to the document I have here and we're gonna print it and we'll see how it works out. Okay, so I have on here my first document that I'm going to be printing. I'm using Google Docs and I'm gonna go over to File and Print. And we're gonna see what happens here. It gives me a preview of the document I'm going to be printing and I'm going to go up here to the wrench icon and I'm going to go down to print. Now it should bring up several options here. Now it has two Kodak printers on here. One of which is my wireless printer because it's actually the computer still recognizes it, recognizes it as wireless even though I have the Wi-Fi turned off on the printer. So there's going to be no mistaking this is going to go through the wired connection. And then down here I have the wired connection 
for this printer. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click print and we're going to see if it does does this automatically. It says print job added and we're waiting. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes and still no printing. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to reboot the laptop computer and we're going to see if it prints on reboot like it normally has. So let's try that out. All right, it's rebooting up and let's see if it actually starts printing on the printer. There we go. This is my first printing using Google Cloud Print on my CR48 Chrome OS notebook, signed Tech Harvest. Now, like I said, it seems like it's a little bit cumbersome. This isn't a production laptop yet, so I understand that. But um, right now, it's not ready for prime time. It's not ready for use on the CR48 on the Chrome OS notebook, it, at least with my setup. I've tried it with Windows 7 64-bit. I've tried it with Windows 7 32-bit. I've tried it with Windows Vista 32-bit, and I have not gotten it to work when you want it to print. Like I said, it takes upwards from an hour for it to actually go through the queue and spit out of the printer. So I guess that would be okay if you were not at your house, you were somewhere else, and uh, you know you just wanted to print something up and have it waiting for you when you got back. That's fine. But as it stands right now, uh, using the Chrome OS notebook and wanting to print something immediately if I'm in my house, it's not really something that's, that's going to work. It's a little too cumbersome at this time. Um, I haven't tried it with any other printer other than this Kodak printer that I have. So I'm not really sure where the bug is in the system. I'm guessing it's with the Google Cloud Print itself. Uh, it is only a beta, so it is not ready for, for public consumption. So that's got to be taken into, into account uh, when, you, when you look at this. But uh, that is printing through Google Cloud Print on the Google Chrome OS notebook. Now, just in case it wasn't clear from the footage you just watched, the Google Cloud Print, when you try and print, the delay is upwards of an hour from when you actually hit the print button for it to actually spit out of the printer. And it's not the printer that's being slow, it's actually queuing up of the, of the document and sending it to the printer, which is the slow part. But the one thing that speeds up that process is rebooting the Windows computer that's the, the intermediary between your Chrome OS notebook and your printer. So if you reboot that computer, once it's right back up from the reboot, it'll spit out those those printouts right away. So there's some sort of bug as far as, you know, the Google Cloud Print is concerned, but again, it is just a beta, so hopefully that will be ironed out in time. Another thing to note is that you don't only have to print Google Documents from your Chrome OS notebook. You can print anything that comes up on the web page. Uh, in the Google Chrome browser, which is pretty much what Google Chrome OS is. So if you can bring it up on a browser, you can print it. Whether it's a picture or a website or anything like that, you can print it. You just go to the wrench icon in the upper right hand corner, go down to print and print, just as you saw there me printing from a, a Google Doc. So that's pretty much it for this video. In my next video, I'm going to actually print from an Android phone, my Nexus One. So I'll see you next time.